If you want to do hydroponics, but you're on well water, there's some things to consider. And someone we talked about in another in the other video that this is from, they're talking about using their well water outside. That's a whole other story using your, your, your well water for watering plants outside or in pots uh, compared to doing hydroponics. When you're growing in soil or any kind of soil, it kind of acts as a buffer. You don't get that when you're in hydro. If you want to use well water, you need to look at your contaminants in your water and any kind of minerals. You can check your water using a TDS meter. You just stick it in your water and it's going to tell you right off the bat, you want underneath, underneath 150 parts per million. My raw water is at 10. Or you can go by EC. This meter goes by USCM, so you gotta translate it or uh, do the math to convert it. And if you look at here, it is going to say it is at 19, so really that's at 0 0.019. And if you don't know what TDS stands for, it stands for total dissolved solids. If you have high TDS over 150 parts per million, you already have the minerals in your water that can throw off your nutrient balance. Excess calcium, magnesium, sodium, iron, and having too high in those minerals can cause a lockout, which means your plants just stop taking anything in. They just lock it out and they don't get it, which usually causes leaf burn and different things of having too strong of nutrients. Well water usually has high alkalinity, however you say that, which is gonna make your pH and different things just drift off and just makes it hard to adjust. It's gonna require more pH down and just make things unstable. Some wells contain iron, sulfur, and manganese, or even bacteria that can harm your plants even just clog your hydro. So if you don't want your pH to drift up every single day or go move around, uh, it's better to use RO and hydroponics.